Hey, 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 Whippers and Whippers, it's Dory with the Great. Welcome back to another exciting installment of our 1,000 subscribers Q&A special. Uh, today we are on the Time Shot server and we are going to be getting personal. Today I'm going to be answering the personal questions that you guys submitted. And uh, yeah, I figure while we do that, we'll probably head down to the Mindless Mine and we'll gather some resources and do some other things. Uh, that don't take a whole lot of uh, thought on my part, so we can just get down to the questions. And I'm, I'm pretty certain today's uh, episode is going to be a shorter than the last one. I probably am even going to split the first section, the one where we talked about question, your questions relating to my channel, uh, maybe into two parts because it was like an hour long. So, uh, But yeah, so we're going to get into personal questions today. And uh, so yeah, so let's jump right on into it. Um, <clears throat> going to pick up these chicken eggs. I will leave the ecosystem intact. All right, so let's head over this way. Get our jump boost on, and we're gonna head down to the mindless mine, find a uh, a section of that mine that is yet to be mined, and then we'll uh, get right on to it. <clears throat> oh gosh, somebody really needs to find that lava that's down here causing all those problems. Um, all right, so let's head this way. We've got uh, oh, we've got chickens in the mine now. <laughs> Take care of that when we get back. Um, all right, so let's find one that hasn't really been touched yet. Uh, da, 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 da. So has this been, okay, so this has been fully mined is why it's blocked up like that. Um, do, 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 do. Where are we at? It's all been blocked up pretty well, pretty well. <clears throat> all right, so we're doing what, two in between each? All right. Oh, nope, this has been blocked up just by sucked. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, there's there was one up here, I think. We'll, we'll jump into there. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys again for uh, not only supporting the channel, uh, for helping us get to this point where we have 1,000 subscribers, but also uh, for taking the time to submit questions uh, to, to this Q&A. We'll go down here see what we can find um but yeah so uh, you guys had a bunch of questions not only about the channel and about gaming in general but also about oh, about uh what uh what we would uh probably consider personal questions uh, i'm not sure where i was going with that uh, you guys had some personal questions too you guys want to know a little bit more about me in general so i figured we would uh, jump right in there we'll take uh take some of those on and see uh see how many of them we can uh, we can illuminate for you guys so first question comes to us from green no uh, three and again uh, as with the last time if I butcher your name I apologize um, but it's probably gonna happen so yeah uh, all right uh, so coming from green I thought I saw some iron uh, coming from green no three he asks do you have a career outside of YouTube or do you do YouTube full time? Um, and I absolutely have a career outside of YouTube um, with uh, with only, and it, it's it's hard to say only because I'm super psyched about getting to a thousand subscribers, but with only a thousand subscribers, there's absolutely no way that anybody could do YouTube full time. Um, really, I, 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 know, I know Poet does YouTube full time and he's got like 150,000 subscribers, um, but um, what? Uh, but I mean, even even like Win, Win's got like ten thousand subscribers, and she works a, a full time job. Um, you've got to get a, a lot of subscribers before you can even consider uh, doing YouTube full time. Uh, let me it, not taking into account Patreon, which I have great supporters on Patreon, but from just YouTube, from like ad revenue and things like that, um, I think I make. Somewhere between like two and like five dollars a month, give or take. Uh, so yeah, I mean, definitely not enough to support uh, support a single person. Nonetheless, uh, a grown man with a you know a wife and everything like that. So no, uh, uh, no, definitely, definitely uh, have a full time job. I uh, I'm a web developer by trade. Uh, web and graphic design is what I uh, am trained for. Um, right now, I, I work as a manager. Um, at a company that I, uh, I I got hired on to do web development, and then I got promoted, and so now I don't get to do as much web development anymore, which is partially why I'm doing YouTube. I needed a creative outlet. Um, I got into YouTube because I was like, my job's pretty boring, and I you know I I went to job for something or went to school for something creative, and I was always a more creative person, 
Uh, but now I'm doing more administrative managerial stuff and it's kind of boring. So, um, so yeah, that, that's kind of why I'm here uh, because of all that. So uh, yeah, no, definitely work a full-time job, uh, but it'd be great. I mean, we, we talked about last time that when we were doing channel stuff, uh, you know, it'd be great if we got to, you know, a, a bunch more subscribers so I could, I could do this full-time just because this is a lot of fun uh, and I, I could do more for you guys uh, if I had more time to commit to it. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, so there we go. Um, thank you for the question, Green No. Uh, from Rias Grimray and Gaming Bear, again, if I slaughter your name, I apologize. How old are you? Um, Tortimer is 118 years old. 118 years old. Uh, in reality, I am, I'm closer to, whoa. Let's go. I'm closer to, uh, 26, to almost 27, so, uh. Uh, yeah, not, not super old, but, uh, you know, um, uh, it's, it's all for fun. Uh, what is your real name? Uh, comes from World Turtle and Gaming Bear. Both of them asked that question. Where are we? Um, and I'm not gonna answer that question. Uh, as far as, uh, as far as, you know, this is all, oh, we're on April's, April's Island. Okay, got it. Um, I, even even like you know I've met uh, Win in real life I've met Jay Seed I've met Code you know these people are my friends and I've met them in real life uh, but honestly they all know me as Tortimer too it's just I, I don't see any reason to you know there, there's no real benefit to anybody for me to really meld my personal and uh, professional life here so uh, uh, nope not gonna not gonna answer that one is is. As far as you guys and pretty much anyone else uh, in the YouTube community is concerned, um, my name is Tortimer, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, alright, so, thank you for the question, though, uh, I just, I, 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 I don't know, just like when we talked about uh, face cam on, in the channel uh, questions last time, <coughs> apologize, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't see value in, in, crossing that bridge. Um, so yeah, but thank you for the question. Um, what race are you? And I guess along a similar vein, I, for one, I don't know that race is really an important thing in real life um, at all. Um, I don't know that that's a relevant category to really delve into, uh, people are people. But um, for, for all intents and purposes, um, I'm, I'm a tortoise. So yeah, the green race. <laughs> Not easy being green, but uh, we, we make it work. Um, so, next one. That one was from Gaming Bear. Um, from Rias Grimory, World Turtle, and Gaming Bear. Uh, all wanted to know, where do I live? And I am a proud citizen of the USA. Um, and I live uh, kind of in the Midwest region there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, USA. USA. We just had 4th of July recently uh, and all that. So, yeah. Nope. Merkin. Um, anyway, thank you guys for the question. Um, Rias Grimory asks, do you have a girlfriend? And my wife would be mad if I did. No, I don't have a girlfriend. I have a wife. Um, and uh, I've been married uh, this, uh, I guess, two and a half, almost three years now. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, married for a little while now. And no, I do not have a girlfriend. I do not have a girlfriend. Uh, uh, but yeah, thank you for the question. Um, Emmanuel, Emmanuel uh, Gebru asks, "Do you or no? That, are you right or left-handed?" And I am left or not left-handed. <laughs> uh, I am right-handed. Uh, like most people, I am right-handed. So pretty, pretty boring vanilla in that respect. No, uh, no weird ambidextrous stuff going on or anything. Just straight up right-handed. So um, yeah, thank you for the question. Uh, next one. Uh, Gaming Bear asks, what religion are you? And, uh, not surprisingly, uh, my answer to that question is that I am a Christian, um, born and raised, and, uh, yeah. So there we go. That is the religion that I identify with. So there we go. Um, you guys probably could have guessed that from the sagely wisdoms and things like that, but, uh, yeah. There we go. Um, Willow Wabite asked, uh, kind of along that same line, what is your favorite Bible verse? And my favorite Bible verse is, uh, is at least at the moment, uh, kind of become my channel, uh, my channel verse, um, which is Psalm, 
144.1, uh, which is uh, essentially, it says, Praise the Lord my God who prepares my hands for war and my fingers for battle, which I think is a great verse for like uh, the Christian video gamer uh, because it, it's talking about like actual war, but it talks, it says, Prepare my hands for war and my fingers for battle, which uh, is, is very much um, an allusion to, to video gaming, I think, uh, because that's what we do. We battle with our hands and our fingers here, so uh, yeah, that, that's that's probably my favorite verse at the moment, uh, just because I think it fits uh, fits my channel perfectly and, and the mission I'm trying to do with that. And, oh no, it's a pool of water. Oh no. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for the question. Um, uh, Willow. Um, so then Emmanuel Gebru asked, let's see, favorite color, and uh, that one's pretty easy for me. Um, Despite what my uh, channel colors might indicate, my favorite color is actually steel blue, which is kind of a grayish blue. Um, I've always loved that color. Uh, I use it in a lot of my uh, my personal designs and things like that. Uh, so if that's a, it's a great color. I love that color. Uh, but yeah, so that's my favorite color for sure. Uh, for sure. Um, Emmanuel then also asked, what was my favorite book series? Which um, my favorite book I talked about last time is Watership Down by Richard Adams. but. Um, my favorite book series, I had to I had to give some thought to because a lot of the books that I've really loved. Um, oh, hey, hey, zombie guy, where'd you come from? A lot of the books that I've really loved that I've read um, were, were kind of like one shots. They weren't part of a series, um, but I think my favorite series um, would probably be um, you know the Lord of the Rings series. Um, it's such a great world that Tolkien built there. Um, and, and the movies were, have been very good. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of The Hobbit, but uh, the, the original trilogy is, is a masterpiece. Um, and, you know, I've just finished Lord of the Ring Minecraft and things like that. It's just, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, and I love those books. Um, you know, I, I also enjoyed reading like Harry Potter and things like that back in the day. Um, and I've read a lot of other series too. But um, yeah, I think probably if I were going to name a favorite uh, book series, It'd have to probably go to Lord of the Rings there. So, uh, yeah, thank you for the question. Ooh, hello, Lava. Um, all right, so favorite book series down. Um, oh, gosh. I think I put my armor back on. Um, ooh, and free armor. Hey, Skelly. Um, okay, so next one. Uh, favorite book series, favorite food. Um, this one's going to be a little bit uh, odd for, for some of you guys probably, but realistically... My favorite food is uh, is and, and has been for a very long time uh, Parmesan cheese. Um, I uh, I uh, I just love love Parmesan cheese. Uh, my wife always makes fun of me because I always put a ton of it on any pasta or whatever we we have. Um, but yeah, Parmesan cheese favorite food for sure. So uh, there we go. Uh, not probably what people were expecting, but uh, probably still the truth. So oh, gosh. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> favorite snack then uh, so favorite food that came from espresso cat thank you eCat um, uh, super duper bun bun asked what was your favorite what is your favorite snack um, I, I, I had a couple um, in mind I, I put down chips and salsa here I love chips and salsa that's that's probably my favorite snack time thing um, I also really do like um, as I've been getting older um, I really love like uh, hummus with like a good pretzel chip or a pita chip or something like that. Um, so yeah, really, really like those as well. Um, gosh darn it, zombies. Quit, quit following me. Okay, okay, hello. You're tracking me for like, I don't even know where. Um, but yeah, so cheese the chips and salsa or like uh, pita and hummus or something. I probably would choose chips and salsa over pita and hummus, but uh, Still, uh, both very good, uh, nice uh, snack time foods. Um, Espresso Cat then wanted to know, what is your favorite drink? Um, <clears throat> and realistically, you know, I, I do drink alcohol. I'm, I'm, I'm old enough to drink. Uh, I don't drink excessively or anything like that. Uh, uh, but um, really, uh, I, I don't even like, I, I can't even say like an alcoholic beverage is my favorite drink because I, I don't drink that much. Um, but um, I love, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of boring vanilla. I love water. Uh, a good bottle of, uh, I've got this now, yes! Oh, iron and diamonds, beautiful. Um, I've got this water bottle that I've had for a while now, and I just, a, a good cold bottle of water, um, just 
the best thing ever. I just love a good cold refreshing bottle of water. I tend to, I'm pretty hot blooded uh, despite my reptilian alter ego. Uh, and uh, so uh, I just, I, you know, just a cool refreshing thing of water is, there's nothing better than that. Um, so yeah, I love, 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 love water. Or uh, I put down a couple other ones here. Orange juice, I, I do, I do love a good glass of orange juice uh, or, um, uh, 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 Verner's. Uh, if I had to, I don't drink a ton of pop, but uh, when I do, I love Verner's. It's a ginger ale. Um, I think it's based out of Michigan. It's, it's really, it's hard to find outside of the Midwest, um, at least in my experience. They may have expanded more since uh, last time I was looking for it, but uh, yeah, um, Verner's is great. It's a good ginger ale. Very, very, very good. Um, so yeah, thank you, Eket, for the question. Eket then also asked, favorite movie of all time? Um, <clears throat> And I actually had to give this some thought because I love a lot of movies. I'm a big movie person. I mentioned that um, in the channel update when you guys asked me some of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, I, I do watch a lot of movie-related stuff, even more than gaming stuff probably. Um, especially, you know, non-friend-related content. I watch way more uh, movie-related stuff than I do uh, gaming. But... Um, for, for me, um, I love movies, and uh, to pick out my favorite of all time, I mean, I love the Shawshank Redemption and things like that, but I was trying to think, you know, what movie would win for me over others, and honestly, with the recent um, release of, like, Jurassic World and stuff like that, I really, you know, I can't I can't get much better than Jurassic Park. I love, I've always loved Jurassic Park as a kid. I've got, like... Um, I've got, I've got all the movies because honestly, I'm, I'm just a sucker for all of them. I, I, I do know, I mean, I'm not an idiot. I recognize that the second and third one were not as good as the first one. But, I mean, you gotta, you gotta check your anticipate, you know, your, your goal at the door there. I, I watch a movie to have fun. Uh, <coughs> if it's a, if it's a well-crafted thinker, that's great. Um, and I generally tend to appreciate, you know, smarter movies more anyway. But, uh. You know, I don't, I don't watch a lot of raunchy, com raunchy comedies and stuff like that, but, uh, uh, yeah, Jurassic Park, it's hard, to, it's hard to beat. I own, like, the Collector's Edition DVD pack and things like that, all of that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I just, you know, I can pretty much sit down and watch that movie anytime. Um, and pretty much any of my other favorite movies, if you ask, would you rather watch Shawshank Redemption or Jurassic World as much as I lo love Shawshank Redemption, um, or some of these other movies, uh, Pretty much ends up going back to uh, Jurassic Park. So, um, yeah, the original Jurassic Park there, probably my favorite movie of all time. Uh, so thank you for that question, Ekant. Um, then Aaron Cerise and Scad, two of my longtime subs as well as Ekant, um, asked, seen any good movies lately and or um, ones that you're looking forward to? So um, I have seen a couple of good movies lately. Um, I saw Jurassic World. Um, oh, wow, I've got a lot of... Uh, don't need zombie flesh for anything. And in fact, I don't need this cobble for anything either while I'm at it. But, um, so yeah, I, I did see Jurassic World recently. My wife, uh, well, no, I, I went and saw that with my brother. Uh, my wife is, she's not a big scary movie fan. And uh, I made the mistake one time of like, oh, we're going to sit down and watch Jurassic Park. So you'll love these. Um, and uh, and then I fell asleep. And so she was sitting there like watching is like, you've got these Velociraptor jump scares and things like that. And she, she... <laughs> She got turned off to them, so she won't. She wouldn't come see the Jurassic World with me. But uh, my brother and I went and saw it, um, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, and yeah, so I, I loved Jurassic World. It was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, probably not as good as the original, but I mean, again, you got to check your expectations at the door. You you got to go in and just expect to have a good time, and, and you absolutely will. Um, and so yeah, loved Jurassic World. Uh, saw the Avengers. Um, I, again, I don't know that I loved it as much as the original, but it was a good time. Um, some movies I'm looking forward to, those are really the only movies, I don't go see movies in theaters a ton, um, because it's expensive, right, and I just don't have time for all that. Uh, if I went and saw, like, every movie I was interested in in theaters, um, I would, I would, I would go broke, probably, but, um, you know, so th those are some of the only ones I've seen recently, um, uh, but, let's, um, some that I'm looking forward to, and that was the second part of the question, um, I'm really looking forward to, I'm going to go see Inside Out later this week, um, which is the new Pixar movie, and I've heard really good things about that. I've, I've loved most of the Pixar movies. As of late, I haven't loved them quite as much. I don't even know if I went and saw the last, I can't even remember what the last one was necessarily, 
I think the last Pixar movie I went and saw was uh, Brave with my wife, uh, and that's largely only because my wife is um, my wife is Irish and she loves archery, um, and so it was kind of a, the perfect movie for her um, in that respect because it was about a it might have been Scottish or something I don't know the girl had red hair, um, but um, yeah and it was it was fine it was a decent animated movie it wasn't. I didn't feel it was quite up to the par of Pixar's normal stuff, um, but uh, yeah, I've heard that this one kind of gets you back um, to what Pixar's all about or has been about uh, in the past. So um, yeah, uh, pretty excited about seeing Inside Out. Um, and then um, what? what oh, um, Mr. Holmes. Um, so that is a movie that is coming out. The date I had put on it at the beginning, I usually look at the beginning of the year and like, okay, what movies do I want to go see? Um, and I normally make a list then and, uh, and, and and then I can watch for them throughout the year. We can kind of plan out which movies we're going to go see when, all that jazz. Um, but uh, I had the December date on this and I think the more recent stuff has got it coming out in like August or something, maybe even in July. Um, but uh, Mr. Holmes, it's a... Uh, it's about Sherlock Holmes. He's played by Ian McKellen, which uh, Gandalf and you know Magneto. He's a great actor, um, and uh, and my wife and I have watched a lot. We watched like the new ben Benedict Cumberbatch uh, uh, Sherlock series. We even watched like the uh, the the CBS um, Elementary with the I don't know. It's got like uh, Lucy Liu is is Doctor Watson and stuff like that. I mean. It's not fantastic, but it's a pretty decent show. It's entertaining enough, uh, and so we 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 just we're fans of the Sherlock Holmes franchise, uh, as well as um, you know Ian McKellen. Uh, so um, yeah, we're I'm pretty excited about that one. It looks like it'll be a good a, a good movie there. Uh, ooh, guns. Um, but yeah, so that's those are some movies I'm looking forward to. There are others, you know. Um, me and my wife are pretty pretty big Star Wars fans. She more than me, really. She's kind of obsessive, but. Uh, um, so we, uh, we're looking forward to, obviously, Star Wars coming out this, this winter, um, and I'm excited, I'm really excited about, uh, Batman v Superman next year, um, and, uh, that's, a lot of the stuff that's coming out about the Suicide Squad movie from DC is looking pretty good, too, um, so, yeah, pretty excited about, was that the only diamond around? I guess so. Um, so yeah, a lot of great movies coming up in the next couple of years, uh, especially if you're a fan of like comic book movies and things like that. Um, it's a good time to be a movie fan. So, um, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. 